Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me. Can I ask you a question real quick, please? Experts say one in every four women in this country get raped, beaten, or attacked in her lifetime. It's important for everyone to know the basics of self-defense, but again, if you just look at the statistics, it's important for women because odds are that they are going to be a victim or someone they know is going to be a victim. Peter Yakovazi not only trains U.S. Navy SEAL teams, but he also teaches women how to defend themselves against an attack. Now tell me, this is a rape escape class. Why do you feel this is important for women to take? Well, it's a class titled Rape Escape. It's not a women's self-defense course per se. It's uniquely different in the sense that it deals with high-risk, volatile sexual assaults and physical encounters. Uh, statistically speaking, like we spoke about before, one in every four women in this world will be raped, beaten, or sexually assaulted in her lifetime. Uh, and unfortunately, those numbers are going up, not down. And of that one in every four, studies now show that the highest risk group in the world are women between the ages of 15 and 28. Women like high school, myself. Women like yourself, high school girls, college girls, young professional women like yourself, women that tend to be out in the public eye more. Uh, so why should you take this course? Simply because you need to prepare yourself because unfortunately, whether we're in Billings, Montana or Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, it is a very violent world out there. And the least we can do is help prepare ourselves for it. And what are some of the main points you're going to offer in this course? The course itself is a three to four hour course. Um, it's very simple, very basic. It is not a martial arts course. It is not a course to walk into a room and walk out thinking, okay, I can now go become the heavyweight champion of the world. It's not about that. It's, we talk about what to do, what not to do. We talk about some scenarios that are common in rape situations. And the last hour of the course is actual hands-on. A man comes in in a big blue padded suit and it becomes very intense, very serious. But women get to experience what it's like in a controlled situation to actually be attacked and ways that they can combat them. You've heard that most crime is down in New York, but one horrible crime is on the rise. It is rape, and attacks are rising in all five boroughs. Ralph Penz is here now with a special report for us. Ralph? Yes, Chuck, Sue. Uh, consider first what the police have found. Even as new reports of rapes are coming in, the final figures show more women attacked in New York last year than the year before. Mm -hmm. Peter Yakavasi is on a mission to help people stay out of harm's way. There are so many things that both men and women do wrong. What I tell people in all my classes is that the single most important weapon you have on your body is your brain. It's to just use common sense. One thing you can do is avoid situations like this. I'm walking to my car. I'm not paying any attention. I get to my vehicle and I don't even bother to look. I start to look to fumble with my keys and all of a sudden in an instant Boom. That took probably less than two seconds. Two seconds, and you can be gone. But you aren't defenseless if you're aware of your surroundings. I'm walking to my vehicle, but now there's a van parked next to my vehicle. So one of the first things I do, walk around to the other side. Because now I have a clear lane. I walk around to the other side. I open up my door from here. I can see my vehicle. I can see that vehicle. I know it's to the right of me, I know it's to the left of me. I open up this door. Now I can put my packages in. If I'm still feeling uncomfortable, there's no, nothing from stopping me from getting in my vehicle from this side, making sure that that door is locked. Another way you can stay safe, keep a cell phone with you. And if you feel uncomfortable, call a friend or the authorities. So while it's not a weapon, a cell phone can be a big deterrent for an attacker. Stephanie Cartier, Color 8 News. So what would you do if you were attacked? Okay. Here are a few tips. Okay, what happened? A total stranger just walked up to you, mm -hmm. you turned to face him, so you put your hands up, you formed a barrier between you and the stranger, and you said stop to give you that split second to turn and run to help or run to safety. Okay. Second scenario. Hello. Excuse me, ma'am. I was wondering if I could just ask you a quick question, please. Had you had your seatbelt on immediately, no chance could I have ripped you out of the vehicle. When I reached in to grab you, if you were already in reverse, you would have stepped on the gas, and more than likely, you would have ran over my feet and got away quicker. Third scenario. You see, that is why you never, ever turn your back to anybody, and it takes only a moment for a predator to put you in the back of a truck or in a van, and then you're gone. One program provides women with simple tools that may save their lives.
According to statistics, one in every four women will be assaulted in her life, and these numbers aren't getting any better. Peter Yakovatsi has been teaching women self-defense for the past decade, and he says his rape escape program can give its participants a fighting chance. I want them to leave the room knowing that the world is a very beautiful place, but a very violent place. And I want them to go out in the world knowing that if their life were on the line, and it depended upon it, that we gave them something that they could use to fight for their lives. Hey, come on, hey, 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 get down, get down. Turn, go, keep going, push. The Bozeman School District is considering implementing this program into their curriculum. Today, this group of junior and senior female athletes took part in a pilot class called Reduce the Odds. The girls learned simple self-defense techniques, practiced them on their partners, and then fought for real. Wiggle, wiggle. Get your feet up. Now go. Strike, strike. Don't stop. Keep going. Now get out of there. Yakovatsi says these moves can be done by women of all shapes and sizes, and they're simple enough that one doesn't have to think, just react and do. The way we teach this program is the movements are very user-friendly. Whether you're tall, short, heavy or thin, whether you're athletic or non-athletic, you can make the movements work for your particular body type. Especially since we're going to college soon, and I think it's just a great way for girls to learn about things that actually happen but aren't talked about very much. They give you simple techniques that any girl can use and um, it just it really helps you prepare for reality, what is real, really out there. Did you know in this country a woman is raped every two minutes? That's according to the U.S. Department of Justice. And with a significant rise this year of sexual assaults in Abilene, some women are learning to fight back. KTEX's reporter Melissa Garcia is standing by with more. Melissa. Chrissy, a pilot program new to Abilene is not your typical self-defense class. The instructor says after losing a girlfriend, the rape escape program is his way of saving the world one woman at a time. The man in me thought, oh God, help these girls. But the boy in me thought, oh God, help Will. Traveling the world to teach self-defense isn't the career move Peter Yakovazi had envisioned. Whoa. Now don't do it, but where do you think she should kick me right now? At least not until his friend was raped and murdered. I lost somebody that I love. I know what pain is. A pain he still feels more than a decade later. So I do this class simply because I know what it's like to lose someone you love. And I love these girls. And I want them to go home. So for the next five minutes, all I want to see is a bunch of girls training like fighters. Okay? Get to work. Stop! 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 Very good. Now. If I take those steps with him, they may be the very last steps I'll ever take for the rest of my life. And if you're attacked, there's only one goal. <laughs> Fight for your life. Sean, grab her. They may feel vulnerable now, but later they'll have a fighting chance. Three, two, one, time. That a girl. Very... The class helps build a foundation not just in self-defense. Kick, kick, groin, knee, stomach, chest, but don't you ever stop. But also in self-esteem. You matter. You matter more than you could ever imagine. Somebody loves you so much that they need you to come home. They need you to fight. A message many will take home. Fight for your life, no matter what happened. Fight for your life. I didn't really know how to defend myself very well. What you've taught me, I have a better chance of getting away. You've seen the statistics and you know the risks. We've covered some safety information and also some techniques that can help you. Now the worst thing you could do is to simply walk away and say, it can't happen to me, because it can.